my experiments about two things. First, are there any other driving forces other than the heart is driving the blood circulation? And second, how does it work? The first time I heard of this project, I was having lunch with my advisor, Dr. Pollack, in the cafeteria. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, so that was actually my first reaction. Because everybody knows that heart drives the, the blood flow. But later, after uh, I did some literature research, and I decided to take this project, because it really looks like there is some missing links in the current circulation model. It's not just the heart that's driving the flow, but there's this secondary mechanism. And this mechanism is also driving the flow, presumably at the level of the capillaries or the small vessels, and it's fueled by infrared energy. Where does the infrared come from? Well, it's all over the place. You can't get rid of it. The environment is full of infrared energy. And that's the energy that's needed to drive this auxiliary or secondary flow. We also get it metabolically because we generate heat. And heat is essentially equivalent to infrared energy. If this is correct, it really is a kind of revolution because nobody's ever thought that anything besides the heart plays any role in the cardiovascular system.